Hey, science fans! Hey, I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center. Thank you so much for joining me here today for Science at Home, where we show you how to do cool science demonstrations with things that you probably already have laying around. Today, we're going to explore the world of water density. Let's get started. You may have heard that things float better on salt water than they do in fresh water, and that's actually true. And today we're going to do a demonstration that explains why that happens. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need some glasses full of water. We'll also need some salt and a spoon and some food coloring. And then you're going to need some kind of uh, piece of plastic to cover the lid of one of your glasses. If the mouth of your glass is small enough, a playing card works really well. Otherwise, this is just something that I cut out of a piece of packaging. Now, to start, let's take a look at these two glasses here. I have a glass with blue food coloring and a glass with red food coloring. These are both fresh water and they're the same temperature. So I'm gonna cover the red glass with my sheet of plastic and I'm gonna make a mess here. I'm gonna flip it upside down and place it on top of the blue water. Okay. Whoop. Told you I'd make a mess. And then we are going to remove carefully this piece of plastic. Now I spilled a little bit, but it's not gonna change the results of this demonstration. You can actually see the blue and the red water mixing and twirling around together as they form purple together. The reason is because both of the, the water in the blue cup and the red cup are the same density. So they're allowed to just move around, mix together, and everything becomes one. And now what we're gonna do is recreate this same demonstration over here. Now the difference here is that the red water is fresh water, but in this case, the water that's colored blue is actually salt water. So I'm just gonna dry off my plastic sheet and we're gonna recreate that demonstration. And I'm gonna see if I can make less of a mess this time. Okay, we put the plastic sheet on top. I'm gonna hold it steady, flip it upside down. Put it, that was pretty good. Put it on top. All right. Now, what do you think is gonna happen? Are the salt water and the fresh water gonna mix in the same way as the fresh water and the fresh water did? Let's find out. So again, I'm gonna carefully remove this little piece of plastic. All right, what's happening? Well, it looks like the red water is actually floating on top of the blue water. And in fact, that is exactly what's happening. But why is that the case? So as I mentioned at the start of the video, the answer has to do with density. Salt water is more dense than fresh water. Why is that? Well, it's actually because of the salt. As the salt dissolves in the water, it increases the mass of the water. Therefore, the water is more dense. Because the fresh water is actually less dense than the salt water, the fresh water will just sit and float on top of the salt water and the two will never mix. If I had done this experiment in the reverse by putting the salt water on top of the fresh water, they would have mixed instantly just like it did over here. This is a great science demonstration to try at home because it looks so cool and it's so much fun to do. You may have noticed that I didn't tell you how much salt to put in the water. That was kind of on purpose. I'll tell you that in this exact instance, for this volume of water, I used a quarter cup of salt. That's actually quite a bit. You should see how much less salt you can put in your water and still have this effect work properly. Would it work if I only used a tablespoon of salt? Or would I have to go all the way up to one eighth of a cup? Or maybe you'll find that it just doesn't work at all with less than a quarter cup of salt. Once you've tried this demonstration on your own, why don't you let us know in the comments below what ratio of salt to water you used? 
Thank you so much for joining me today for Science at Home. And I really do hope that you give this demonstration a try. It's a lot of fun and it's pretty simple to do. If you like this kind of thing, please visit us on the web at sasksciencecenter.com. We have all kinds of great content for you to enjoy. Other Science at Home videos, Ask Sally Science, interviews with filmmakers and other famous scientists. It's a lot of fun and I hope that you'll check it out. Thank you so much for joining us here on YouTube today. If you enjoyed this video, I guarantee that you're gonna love this video right here. And while you're watching this, please click over here and subscribe to the channel. It'd be great if you do, and it'll ensure that you don't miss this content in the future. Thanks.